So one of the things that you'll want to do is format cells. And um, the easiest way to do that is to right click and go to cell format. So if I wanted to format these cells right here, I could right click on it and um, go to format cells. I can also go onto my home tab and format my cells that way as well. The way um, when you do it here, you get a little pop up that has all these different tabs so you can do all these formattings all at once. So underneath number, if you leave it on general, then Excel kind of guesses what it is that's in your um, cells and tries to fit the best format. If you put number, then a number can be used in formulas and you can pick if you want a comma separator and also how you want negative numbers and if you want any decimal places or else if you want it to round. You have currency and again you can pick if you want a symbol like a dollar sign or a pound sign or something like that. There's accounting, date, time, um, percentage, fractions, scientific, text, special, and custom. Underneath alignment you can leave it general. You can wrap the text that way um, one of the lines wouldn't go way over across all the columns and it would wrap. Um, of course it would make the row bigger. You can shrink to fit and you can merge your cells too. You can also um, change your alignment. You can set the font here and the size although you can do that underneath the home tab as well. You can put borders on this if I wanted a solid outline for example. I could put a solid outline. I could put inside lines on here and I can also do a fill. So if I wanted to put a color on here. I could also do a protection. So I can highlight cells and I could put a password on them so that nobody could change these particular cells unless they had the password. Okay, so now you can see how I changed these cells. So um, again, Let's just take a look at something as simple as ID numbers that might have some leading zeros. Well, if I put in leading zeros and hit the enter key, you'll notice that the leading zeros drop because Excel says this is a number format. So how can I change that? A couple of ways. I can put an apostrophe in front of the number. So I put an apostrophe 00123 and hit the enter. And this is now treated as text. You can tell it's text because there's a little um, green arrow there and if I click on here it says number stored as text and it goes flush left rather than right the way numbers do. Um, so that's one way. I can also right click on this again and go to format cells and underneath number I can say format this as text. If I click on the column or the row, the column letter or the row number, it will make everything within that row or everything, even things that don't have anything in them, formatted that way. So let's say I do want a number with leading zeros, but I want it to be a number. Okay, so let's right click and go to format cells. And in this case, we're going to pick the custom and we're going to pick the zero. We're going to put however many zeros we want. So if our ID number has eight characters, we will put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if it has a minus sign in front of it, I can put the minus sign and then I click OK. Now when I enter something in the cell, if I enter one, two, three and hit the enter, notice that it automatically fills in the leading zeros and puts the minus sign in there for me also. So if you don't like to right click to format these cells, you can go up to the home and you are going to see right here that you can change some things here. You can also pick from any of these. Here are your alignment options. And you can pick, uh, click on this down arrow and it will bring up this same, uh, same little box, pop-up box that we had. You can also do the same with alignment. And then you will have the pop-up box as well. One of the things that I like to do a lot is put my headers slanted. So if I click on the header row, right click and go to format cells and then that would be under alignment and I can pull this just slightly aligned and now my headers are aligned. The very last thing is sometimes you might want to put a note on something. Um, so if you right click on the cell and you put in new note, 
Um, it will bring up your name or whoever's logged into the computer. You can wipe that out if you prefer, but you could put a note that if student turns in work by 9-1, grade could be increased. And you'll notice that when you put that thing, you've got a little red corner, and if you hover, you'll see the note. You can also right-click and edit the note if you need to. Um, or delete the note.